It is given to you on the equation sheet, but it's really easy to remember, and you probably will, because it spells out bill. F equals bill. F is force, it measured in newtons. B is magnetic field strength, although sometimes it will be called flux density. So you just need to remember that flux density means field strength. That is measured in Tesla, which is obviously uh, not named after Tesla, the car company, but it is the same word. Uh, it's actually named after Nikolai Tesla. Uh, he was a Russian uh, scientist. I is current, measured in amperes, and L is the length of Y in meters. So pause the video, write this equation down, write down what all these symbols mean. Let's look at a couple of different examples. The first one here, pause the video, try this question. So it's really straightforward. First of all, you write down the equation F equals bill. You then write down the information you know. So here, the magnetic field strength is 3.4 Tesla. The current is five amps and the length is five centimeters, which is 0.05 meters. So you must always convert to meters. Now we can plug in the numbers in our equation and we can get our answer 0.85 Newtons. Question two, pause the video now and try this question. In this, in this question, it wants the magnetic field strength. So we need to rearrange our equation and say that the magnetic field strength is the force divided by the current times length. We then write down all the values that we know. So the force is 0.275 Newtons. The current is 8.5 amps. And again, the length is five centimeters, which we need to convert to meters. Plug in the numbers in our equation, we get our answer 0.67 Tesla. Final example, pause the video now, try this question. Exactly the same as the previous slide. We start with F equals bill. We rearrange the equation, we write down our values, and again, for the third slide in a row, I've made the same stupid mistake. The length is five centimetres, which we need to convert to metres, plug in our numbers, and get our answer 0.08 Tesla. So now you've finished this second video, you can answer the questions in the Google document. Please write only the number, don't write the unit, uh, because then you will hopefully get it auto-marked.